everyone, it's Michelle here from the Petite Palette with a not so petite project for you today that I want to show you since I've gotten so many emails and questions about how we did our palette wall. So we have prepared some tips and tricks that we've learned along the way that might save you a little bit of time if you ever decide to take on a project like this. We're going to share them with you today, so grab your pens and your notebooks and come along with us. We're going to go to Ace Hardware and we're going to get our palettes. Let's go. hardware and as you can tell we pulled around the back that's where you want to park and you're gonna walk around to the side of the building where they have all the pallets and we've already laid out a few so that you can get a good idea and I can show you what a good pallet is and what a bad pallet is so let's first look at a bad pallet because there's a couple things you want to look at make sure this is a bad pallet really because I mean these boards are good but a lot of them are cracked so that's really gonna be hard to work with. This palette is beautiful if you want a really rustic look. It has that like aged appeal, that's great. This palette over here has some writing on it and if you're okay with that, then this piece of wood, you can tell it has a really cool feel to it and um, just gives a little bit more of a variety to your wall. A couple things you wanna look for is texture color and um, the thickness of your wood. So three things, texture, color, and thickness. Some boards are thicker than others, wider than others. So to add variety, you always wanna look for um, different size and thickness. Color, these are beautiful palettes. They're great boards, they're not too beat up. They're gonna be nice and easy to saw off. And they're different colors. So when I'm putting them up on the wall, they're gonna look great. Also, another thing to be thinking about, and I know that a lot of you have been asking me about this, bugs. Am I worried about bugs? You can spray them down with bug spray, and we'll list all those in our comments below so you can see maybe what types to buy. Um, you can spray them down, and then you don't have to worry about it. So we're gonna purchase a palette here at Ace. They're $3, which is great, and, uh, and we're gonna head back to the studio. So come on with us, we'll go back to the studio. So we had to make a quick pit stop because it's 90 degrees out and we're cutting pallets, there's only one solution. back to the studio. This is what it looks like outside the back door of our studio. Um, a couple things on cutting your pallet. Always use a sawzall. That'll make it so much easier for you. And the blade is super important. Use a blade that cuts through metal, not the wood blade. We learned the hard way on that one. So use the metal blade. And if you don't have a sawzall at home, you can rent one from First Leaf Rental. They're about $25 a day. So feel free to rent one if you don't have one. We're gonna get started. And you always wanna start cutting your palette from um, one of the corners. So corner, corner, and then the center. And we're just sawing through the nails. So we're gonna demonstrate here. Oh, and the 
and wear gloves. And safety glasses. And that pretty much sums up our palette wall. If you have any questions or you run along and you hit some hiccups along the way, feel free to contact me and I'd be happy to answer any of the questions that you might have. Also, if you see this gas pipe and these shelving and all the accessories and you think, well, those are really cool, feel free to um, click on the link in the comment section below and you can watch how we made those and we're gonna show you some tips and tricks along the way for those as well. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this not so petite project and we'll see, see you next time. Bye bye. Where is he? Is he out here again? Are you eating ice cream again?